We are doing a massive sex toy giveaway. More details coming up in just a second. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Or does it? Not if I have anything to say about it. Sin City has tons of things to offer the queer traveler, including two places for us to go and get off. I'm talking about Entourage and Kuma. Now this video is gonna be a little bit different than my other sauna review videos, because usually I rate a bathhouse out of five eggplants. Five, of course, being a perfect score. But it's not really fair for me to give a rating of these places because I didn't have time to really experience them fully. My schedule was so jam-packed, I didn't have time to check in, strip down, cruise the halls, and look for trouble. So instead, I went on these guided tours of these sexy spaces. So I will be talking about what I saw, what facilities are available for you in each of the spaces, and some of the pros and cons of both. But first, my friends in the closet are sending free sex toys and gift cards to everyone who signs up to my giveaway. It's super easy. Just click the link in the description below, enter your email, and check your inbox for your gift from me and Closet. I'm really vibing with Closet because they're an LGBTQ plus company, which means we're supporting our own. Not only that, we have the same mission, which is to destigmatize sexual wellness and promote sex positivity. If you're anything like me, then you struggled with douching. I've tried everything. I have yet to find one like the Douche Pro. Check this out. What's really amazing about this one is that you can turn it on and there are three different speeds. Listen. There's a five spray nozzles here for better coverage. The tip is made of silicone so it won't harbor any bacteria. And there's zero backflow, which is really important because you don't want to see gross particles floating around in here. You've got this large bowl for easy cleaning. You might watch my OnlyFans and think, wow, that thing went right up there. But before I shoot anything that requires any backdoor action, I gotta prepare first. And that process just became easier with the Anal Prep School butt plug set. Three different sizes, Goldilocks. These are made of silicone and are super comfortable, 100% waterproof, and extremely easy to clean. They are perfectly shaped to fit you. As you probably already know, I review sex toys on my channel and I test drive them so you don't have to. At this point, it's getting hard to impress me. But the Prostate Pro managed to do just that. It's got a handy remote control. It's got 12 vibrating speeds. It's the perfect size and shape for your body. Here, you've got these ribs, which feel great. And then here, this sits right on your taint. The whole thing is vibrating. Did I mention 12 different speeds and patterns? So remember, that's free sex toys and gift cards to every single person who signs up to my giveaway. Just click the link in the description below. Go, do it now! Alrighty then, we are gonna start with Entourage. Now, Entourage is a very North American style bathhouse found in a strip mall. <laughs> you might call the lobby kitschy. There's stuff hanging from the ceiling. There's like Roman statues. There's gay flags. There's posters for parties. I mean, you know you're in a gay establishment. You know you've walked into the right place. It is covered in gayness. Of course, you have the front where you can check in before you go through the door. And then after you go through the door, you've got a display case that has like things you might need for your enjoyment in the space, like lube and poppers. And then immediately to your left, there's a well-lit room because this isn't a room that you're supposed to play in. This is a room that has safety deposit boxes, which are always recommended when you go to these places because there are thieves amongst us. Also in that room, you've got vending machines with snacks and lots of goodies. And there's an arcade, Miss Pac-Man. So why not, <laughs> right? Right off the entrance, you see a small gym set up with all the basic equipment that you would need for like a small workout. Funny thing about this room is that not only is it a gym, but there's a stage in the gym. So I don't, is it a performance area? Is it a gym? It's kind of a everything you need. It's also a high traffic area because you're coming out the front. It also has a really nice sized jacuzzi, which I, Hate it when places have this little tiny jacuzzi and you're just sitting there and it's just you and one guy. And you know, this is supposed to be like a social environment and they do that really well. The jacuzzi is big, it's inviting, it's in a high traffic area. There's lots of fun, flashy lights. Then when you continue on, there's kind of two paths you can take. You can either go in the enchanted forest 
or you can choose the wild, wild west. Both of them, you can't go wrong. The Enchanted Forest, you're going in, it's basically a slurp ramp slash playroom. It's got seating, it's got levels. You can walk up, you can whip it out, you can bend over. Things are being eaten, things are being sucked. You're having a good time in the Enchanted Forest. In the Wild Wild West, you walk in, there's right on your left, there's like glory hole cabins, which who doesn't love a glory hole cabin? You just go in there, you close it, holes on either side, and you're just like, I don't know where to look. Perhaps the piece de resistance is the ginormous pool that they have there. Now, this is a pool that you can lay around, you can jump in, you can play, you can meet people. I mean, it is a good size pool. Another nice thing about Entourage is that in the other section beside, it's all the rooms. So they have hallways, which are black and white tiled floors, flashing lights, you really feel like you're at a sex disco. Lots of rooms and inside the rooms you have like benches, you have TVs, then you have this huge playroom, like it's ginormous. <laughs> like literally you could have a DJ and a dance party in this room, it's so big. It also has a big stage and a stripper pole. So you can have go-go dancers, you could have a performance, uh, porn stars, you could do so much in this room, lots of space. Okay, like I said, I'm not gonna give a rating because I didn't put on a towel and I didn't play around with the clientele, so I can't give a fair rating, but I will tell you my pros and cons of this place. The pros are, this is a classic North American style bathhouse if that's what you like. Like I said, the wet areas are amazing. It has a big pool and a chunky, big size jacuzzi to hang out and socialize. Another pro is that they have a lot of rooms, which is nice because it means they can host a lot of people. So on busy nights, you know that there could be a lot of people hanging out at Entourage. Now the con I would say of Entourage is that it could be regarded as a bit outdated. I feel like this is what you would have found if you walked in the door in 1987. It's like stepping back in time. So is that a pro? Is that a con? That's up to you. Okay, and on to Kuma. Now Kuma and Entourage could not be further apart in style, in concept. Right from the outside, you see this really cool styling. You see the bear, this BDSM bear that's really feels cool and fresh, and but cute and sexy at the same time. And then as soon as you walk in the door, there is a modern use of lighting and mirrors. So this hallway just feels like it goes on forever and you have these lights that are going around. It just feels very current in there. It feels like they put a lot of thought into the styling to make it sexy and trendy and cool. And then when you go through the door, you have this nice big locker room. Now the thing with Kuma is that it is an open concept play space. So you don't have the usual steam room and showers and the jacuzzi. As soon as you walk in like the main room, you've got the blow job bridge, the BJB. <laughs> it's kind of like a slurp ramp. You just walk up and then you can walk back and forth. People are whipping it out. They're eating it and you're enjoying it. You're having a good time on the bridge. Then the rest of the room is like these partially sectioned off rooms. Some of them have slings. Some of them have glory holes. Each room is a little bit different in the style and what it's offering the people that are going there. Off to the side, you've got this slurp room where you obviously go up, you whip it out, you have a good time. But what's really unique about Kuma is that it has these piggy banks. Now, I don't know if you've seen these porns where somebody is lying on their back and they're sort of partitioned up and their legs are hanging out the other side and then people are just coming and going and they can't see who's on the other side. Great for a non power bottom play. <laughs> now there is a shower there. There's no wet area per se, but there is a shower there meant for water sports. So it's got this nice clear glass on one side, this big rainfall rain shower head thing down really nicely done. You have more lockers, you've got display cases with fun stuff that you can buy, and then you have the cubicles. Now these cubicles, as I mentioned, are very different than a usual American bathhouse style room where you rent the room. These cubicles are just open for anybody to use. So you just go in, you bring your person and you're playing around. When you're done, you leave the cubicle for somebody else to use. There's also a small stage in the back because why not? 
And then there's these little glory hole booths sort of lined up next to each other where people can just be having a good time and glory holing it up. So the pros for me are I like the social aspect of the European style where you don't have a particular room that you lock yourself away in. It's more interactive and social because everything is communal. Also the piggy bank thing. Like I've, I have never been in a space that has had these piggy bank things. I know they exist, but it's nice to find a place that has two of them. And then of course the styling is so sleek and cool. The lights, the marketing, the branding. It just feels very well thought out and modern. Now the cons are that there are no wet Area. So there's no jacuzzi, there's no steam room, stuff like that, which I personally do enjoy using because sometimes you're taking a break. Sometimes there's, it's slow and there's nobody around. So you're just enjoying the space. Also, the doors on the cubicles don't lock. So there is some privacy, but anybody could sort of walk in at any time. Plus there's a gap in the door underneath where people can basically watch everything that you're doing in there and also just slide their whole body through and invade your space if they really wanted to. That would be really invasive, but people get pretty um, forward at the bathhouse sometimes. Of course, being in a cubicle and playing around with somebody and being interrupted is fine if you're into groups, kind of like the group of people that have signed up for my newsletter. It's absolutely free and full of discounts on fun stuff like sex toys and sexy underwear and outfits for you to enjoy. I share stories things, upcoming projects that I have. It's a great way for us to keep in touch. Just go to patrickmorano.com and sign up for my newsletter. Here we are with another bathhouse video, and I know it's a topic you want to hear about, but it also could mean restricted ad revenue for me. So that's why your support means so much. If you watch this channel and you enjoy the content, consider becoming a patron. Like my newest patrons, Dylan and John. Or if you're looking for something a little more a spicy check out my only fans page where i go into graphic detail about my bathhouse adventures and i leave nothing to the imagination either way go to patrickmorano.com link in the description below for all the ways in which you can support and now you know what i'm gonna say so you say it with me i will see you in the next video mm -hmm.